A flowchart is a visual wave representing the steps in an algorithm using specific shapes. It helps programmers to plan the flow of data for a program and communicate to others how it will work. There are five flowchart shapes you need to know. You must use these specific shapes in an exam. Each will be explained in turn. All flowcharts must start and end with a terminal. This shape is also known as a terminator. A parallelogram is used to input and output data. In Python, asking for and inputting a value would be one line of code, but flowcharts separate this into an output and then input. A rectangle represents a process. Examples of processes include assigning a value to a variable, performing a calculation, and randomizing a number within a given range. A diamond represents a decision made with an if statement. The two outgoing flow lines are typically labeled with true and false. A rectangle with two vertical lines represents a subprogram, which is a functional procedure. Any parameters, for example num or name, are included within the rectangle. When a subprogram is called, it activates a separate flowchart with new terminals. The subprogram's flowchart is followed, and when complete, progress continues from where the subprogram was called. Instead of start, the opening terminal for a subprogram is its name and any parameters. A procedure does not return a value, so it uses a standard end terminal. A function is a type of subprogram that returns a value, so it can be used elsewhere in the program. The ending terminal of a function states the value to be returned. Arrows in a flowchart are called flow lines. All shapes typically have one outgoing flow line, except decisions, which have two, and the end terminal, which has zero. You may be asked to read a flowchart to understand its purpose or outputs. You may also be asked to finish an incomplete flowchart or to draw one from scratch. This example here inputs and multiplies a number. A for loop can be represented by using a count variable, which can be named anything, and a decision. This example repeats 10 times, printing the numbers 1 to 10. A while loop can be represented with a decision that loops back to a previous part of a flowchart. This example loops while the password input is not 123.